thoughts and his introductory remarks. Sir. Good evening, everyone. Honorable Minister of Information and Broadcasting, Youth Affairs and Sports, Government of India, Shri Anurag Singh Thakurji. Honorable Minister of State, Information and Broadcasting, Fisheries, Dairies and Animal Husbandry, Dr. L. Muruganji. Secretary, Information and Broadcasting, Shri Apur Chandraji. Director AIBD, Ms. Philomena Nana Prajasam. Excellencies, the heads of foreign nations in India present at this conference. Delegates from the AIBD member countries, senior officers from the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Prasar Bharti, and media units of the Government of India. It is with immense pleasure that I welcome you all to the inaugural ceremony of the Asia-Pacific Institute for Broadcasting Development, AIBD's General Conference Meeting 2022. AIBD was established in 1977 under the auspices of UNESCO. And since then, it has been doing pioneering work in the development of media sector, primarily focusing the Asia-Pacific region. It has completed, sir, 45 years of journey this year, leaving a mark on the media world, bringing countries together, facil facilitating program sharing and good practices. While the world was under lockdowns during the COVID period, AIBD continued its trainings and capacity building workshops online. I'm happy to share that 34 training programs were conducted in last one year alone by AIBD. These trainings were not the routine ones, but focused on many emerging issues, including climate change, disaster reporting, green technologies, sustainable development goals, journalism, and programming for children, and so on. But one area I will specifically underline is the cyber security journalism. As the use of internet is increasing in broadcasting, so are the threats of cyber attacks. It is imperative that the journalists be trained on this aspect, and AIBD is perhaps the first institute which has taken, us, taken up cyber security journalism as the organized training program. Congratulations to Director AIBD and the team at the Secretariat of AIBD in Malaysia. AIBD has always strived to focus on the crucial issues in its general conference, and this year the theme is building a stronger future for broadcasting in the post-pandemic era. COVID-19 has changed the landscape of the media sector, and the innovations are taking place at an unprecedented scale. We, the broadcasters, have learned many lessons from the pandemic. The studios have become hybrid, with anchor in the studio and guests connected online at their homes. Some channels have been experimenting with home studios and remote production. We at Prasar Bharti, Doordarshan and AIR also learned a lot, but a few points I would like to underline. Doordarshan and All India Radio lived up to their highest standards of public broadcaster during the COVID period. DD and AIR channels across the country and even all the relay transmitters, they functioned sir, 24 by 7 without a break, disseminating information on COVID to the people. The stories of COVID warriors from nook and corner of the country, ground reports, beneficiary bites, Mask Up India campaign, doctors speak, taking live questions and answers from the people in regional and local language, languages throughout the country. Sir, we continued it without any break. Sir, our cameras traveled far and wide to the high mountains of Himalayas, to the flooded areas in the plains 
where the COVID warriors were transporting vaccine to the remote places. Visuals which leave lasting impact, such as crossing a rivulet by tying rope across the cliffs in Arunachal Pradesh, it is in the northeast India, and uh, taking the vaccine to the needy population. In the words of our Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, journalists work like karma yogis. I will just explain the term karma yogi here. The one who worships his duty, her duty. So that is karma yogi. So journalists work like karma yogis in the interest of the nation during the pandemic and in the last two years. What they have done has left the positive contribution contribution to the people and the, the media's contribution that has helped a lot in dealing with the biggest crisis in last hundred years. Sir, we successfully fought fake news. We countered it almost on real-time basis. A few things I would like to underline for the future. Sir, Content is the king, content was the king, and content will remain the king. Technology platforms will change. Earlier it was through the waves, now it is through internet, the use of internet will increase. But sir, media is the most powerful agent of change. We all know it is already doing a pioneering work and supporting the development efforts of governments and civil societies the world over. We have to little bit augment it. If media unleashes its full potential and aligns and fully commits towards the goal of human development, peace and world order, societies can progress at a much faster pace. I am happy to state that the AIBD has taken up now the trainings on sustainable development goals and climate change in a big way. Sir, before I conclude, because we had been discussing a lot about the impact of COVID on media, I will again say, sir, we lost people, but we never lost the spirit. And we will continue with that spirit to serve the nation, to serve the communities around the world, to serve the nations through the AIBD. That is the result, sir. Again, very warm welcome to all foreign delegates for the meaningful deliberations you had. Today, sir, we had two sessions, pre-inaugural sessions. They were very meaningful. And we prepared the roadmap for the tomorrow's full general conference meeting, sir. It was. Sir, I am again, sir, thankful to you for taking out time and coming to this conference. Sir, really, sir, it has lifted our spirits. I thank Minister of State also to come here. I thank Secretary, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, and Philomena. She has traveled a long distance. In last 10 days, again, she has come to India to prepare for this conference. With that warm welcome, thank you very much. You'll have wonderful time. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Agarwal. And as reiterated by Sir, Mr. Agarwal, over the years, how AIBD has transformed, ladies and gentlemen, into a robust regional